Hey, welcome back to Coin Chronicles. This is Bryce. I hope you're doing well. Today, we will take a look at the history of the year 1935, and we will look at some coins from the year. This will include one piece silver dollar, one walking liberty half dollar, one Washington quarter, one mercury dime, and one Lincoln wheat cent. We will look at each coin and the important details such as mintage, grading, and inflationary value or purchasing power of the time. First, we will cover the history of the year 1935. In the year 1935, Amelia Earhart becomes the first person to fly solo from Hawaii to California. Airplanes are banned from flying over the White House by President Roosevelt. The Great Black Sunday dust storm hits hard in eastern New Mexico, Colorado, and western Oklahoma. Executive Order 7034 creates the Works Progress Administration. The world's first parking meters are installed in Oklahoma City. President Roosevelt dedicates the Hoover Dam. The 6.5 magnitude Helena earthquake affected the capital of Montana, causing widespread damage, killing two people, while another high-intensity aftershock kills another two people days later. The Douglas DST, a prototype of the DC-3 airliner, first flies and more than 16,000 will be produced. Four million workers are members of trade unions across the United States, and the historical record survey begins under the Works Progress Administration. The Richter magnitude scale, blacklight, parking meter, surfboard fin, and pH meter are invented, and the songs, Red Sails in the Sunset, Begin the Bugain, and Moon over Miami are written and published. Now let's take a look at the 1935 S Peace Silver Dollar. The 1935 S Peace Silver Dollar was minted in San Francisco. It has a size of 38.1 millimeters and a weight of 26.73 grams. Its composition is 90% silver and 10% copper. Its designer is Anthony De Francisci. Its mintage is 1,964,000. Its inflationary value for the year 1935 is $22.41. And its numismatic values range from $44 in good condition up to $1,639 in brilliant, uncirculated, mint state condition. Now let's take a closer look at the 1935 S Peace Silver Dollar from my collection. So, as we take a look at this 1935 S Peace Silver Dollar, we can see that it's in pretty fair shape. Uh, if we were to look at the details here, we can see that majority of the details are still there on this obverse side. However, there are some light scratches on this side and we can read all the words quite clearly. And the, there's a nice outline. But as we turn to the reverse side, we see that there's a good outline of the eagle there. And we can see the rays from the sun. And we can still barely read the word peace down there on the rock. And we can see the S mint mark, just barely. But overall, if I were to grade this coin, I would give it a grade of extremely fine condition. Now, let's take a look at the 1935 S Walking Liberty Half Dollar. The 1935 S Walking Liberty Half Dollar was minted in San Francisco. It has a size of 30.6 millimeters and a weight of 12.5 grams. Its composition is 90% silver and 10% copper. Its designer is Adolf A. Weinman. Its mintage is 3,854,000. Its inflationary value for the year 1935 
is $11.21. Its numismatic values range from $18 in good condition up to $626 in brilliant, uncirculated mint state condition. Now, let's take a closer look at the 1935S Walking Liberty Half Dollar for my collection. So, as we take a look at this 1935S Walking Liberty Half Dollar, we can see it's in pretty good shape for its age. There's nice details on the garment there, as well as the sun and the rays. And we can easily read the date, and God we trust, and the liberty along the rim. So a lot of the details remain, but now as we turn to the reverse side, we see there's a nice outline of the eagle there, and we can easily read the words just like the obverse side, and we can see the S mint mark. But overall, if I were to grade this coin, I would give this coin a grade of very fine condition. Now let's take a look at the 1935D Washington Quarter. The 1935D Washington Quarter was minted in Denver. It has a size of 24.3 millimeters and a weight of 6.25 grams. Its composition is 90% silver and 10% copper. Its designer is John Flanagan. Its mintage is 5,780,000. Its inflationary value for the year 1935 is $5.60. Its numismatic values range from $9.05 in good condition up to $494 in brilliant uncirculated mint state condition. Now let's take a closer look at the 1935D Washington Quarter from my collection. So, as we take a look at this 1935D Washington Quarter, we see that it has seen a lot of wear for its age, but we still see a good outline of Washington there, and we can easily read the date, in God we trust, and the liberty at the top there. But overall, this side is pretty worn. Now, as we turn over to the reverse side, we see a good outline of the eagle. We can see that the words along the rim have been very much worn down or worn off, but we can easily still see that there's a D mint mark there. But if I were to give this coin a grade, I would grade it good condition. Now let's take a look at the 1935 Mercury Dime. The 1935 Mercury Dime has a size of 17.9 millimeters and a weight of 2.5 grams. Its composition is 90% silver and 10% copper. Its designer is Adolf A. Weinman. Its mintage is 58,830,000. Its inflationary value for the year 1935 is $2.24. Its numismatic values range from $2.73 in good condition, up to $41 in brilliant, uncirculated mint state condition. Now, let's take a closer look at the 1935 Mercury Dime from my collection. So, as we take a look at this 1935 Mercury Dime, we can see that there's still a lot of very fine details left on this obverse side. We see that in the wings there on the head and we see a, a good clear outline of the head there and we also see a very nice sheen on this side and we can easily read the date and see all of the words and the rim is very fine as well but now as we turn over to the reverse side of the coin we can see that many of the details are still there on the axe the vertical lines and the horizontal lines are very fine and we also see uh, very fine details in the shrubbery around the axe and as well as the words along the rim but overall if I were to grade this coin I'd give it a grade of about uncirculated condition now let's take a look at the 1935 S Lincoln Wheat Scent the 1935S Lincoln Wheat Scent has a size of 19 millimeters and a weight of 3.11 grams. Its composition is 95% copper 
and 5% tin and zinc. Its designer is Victor D. Brenner. Its mintage is 38702000 Its inflationary value for the year 1935 is 23 cents. Its numismatic values range from 17 cents in good condition up to $20 in brilliant uncirculated mint state condition. Now let's take a closer look at the 1935 S Lincoln Wheat scent from my collection. So as we take a look at this 1935 S Lincoln Wheat scent, we can see that a lot of the details are still there. Lincoln is still well outlined. We see a lot of details still in his hair as well as the bow tie. And we can easily read the Liberty, the date, the mint mark, and in God we trust at the top. And there's a, still a, a nice sheen to this particular coin. But now, as we turn over to the reverse side, we can see that the details in the wheat along the sides there near the rim are still quite clear and still visible. They're still fine. And we can easily read all of the words as well. But overall, if I were to grade this coin, I would give it a grade of very fine condition. Hey, I really hope you enjoyed this video and found it to be interesting. For more videos, please like and subscribe. Thank you. Keep on collecting and have a great day.